Hi there Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I wanted to say uh, thank you for your patience. I have tried to do your video, uh, oh, three times. And so this will be fourth time's a charm. One thing, I mean, I'll be able to tell you what repeating cards I see, but at the very first video, one of the things that came up right at the beginning without any cards was from one extreme to the other. Okay, so that came out right at the beginning of the very first reading that I tried to do to, do for you guys. From one extreme to the other. Okay, so that has something to do with you. This is a love reading for July 13th to July 31st for Capricorn. What do you have for Capricorn? I think there's still some power struggles going on. You know, the need to be in control, to the need to um, be the boss, perhaps, of this, whatever situation is going on in love, the power, that you, you want to be in control. And then you might perhaps um, all of a sudden melt, you know, like I said, from one extreme to the other. It seems probably yesterday you were all lovey-dovey, hunky-dory, and... Everything was like, oh, I love you, and oh, I love you, honey. You know, and today it's like, Rrr. you know, so yeah, from one extreme to the other. If this doesn't resonate with you, check your moon sign or your rising sign or both. And remember that it might not resonate with everybody. You know, just pick out pieces that do and go from there. This is for a big audience. So, you know, it's not going to resonate with everybody. What else did I see? I'm going to, I'd be interested. A couple times we got repeating cards in the other ones too. One of the big messages was about overindulgence. And it was like right about now. Like you're, uh, you, I think you've been indulging quite a bit with maybe drugs or sex or there's been some overindulgence. All right, there has. Look at that power and control, son of a bitch. There you are, man or woman. Like I said, there's been there's been some uh, action, you know, regarding the power and control that that you're craving. So this is July 13th through July 31st. It looks like there's still some movement. Okay, you're gonna, you know, you're in, you're right now, right now when you watch this reading, con continue that as, or consider that your starting point. If this is your first time watching me, you will learn quickly that I can't get the words out like half the time. I'm hearing all kinds of things and I'm trying to speak too fast. So please, I apologize. I apologize, but you just, you know, you'll get to uh, deal with it. Anyway, so um, it looks like there's something moving pretty fast. There's still movement in your life. There's some, there's still, the, the, the upheaval isn't over yet. The chaos per se, there's going to be an awakening. Um, there's still conflicts in your life. Uh, and I see that you're working real hard. You're putting a lot of time into your work. Um, maybe you're interested in a water sign from your place of employment or even in your life, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that you are considering starting a new journey with, maybe? I don't know. Um... I think that you know you're you're de something has come to light all right something has come to light and um it has to do it has to do with um work
you have an, an ability to manifest a new direction, all right? Perhaps, I mean, look at this. Look at this lineup right here. Here we, here we have conflicts and we have still learning. You're still learning, okay? You're still, you haven't quite mastered, but you're real close to mastering um, security and abundance. You're real, real close to mastering something. Here, you're being offered a new opportunity of security <coughs> and stability. Could be with this person that could lead to a happily, you know, a happy, comfortable home. Um, but there's something that you aren't even considering, okay? Hmm. There's a sternness down here. Okay, I see this as being very stern, like somebody is um, upset. Somebody is upset at you for not opening your eyes about something. What is it? You're, you're going to miss some kind of opportunity or something? I don't know. That's what it looks like to me because of some stupid conflict. Hmm. It's supposed to be a love reading for Capricorn. We're looking for some love here. It looks like you're, there's just too much going on. There's no love. There's no real, like, I mean, love isn't shouting out right here. It's not like there's all, you know, it looks like you're, you've, you're focusing on rebuilding something, you know, or building some, building a foundation, okay? It looks like you're having a new opportunity to build a foundation. It's, you are a hard worker, um... It doesn't say anything, really. I mean, there's a very comfortable, happy home down here. All right, you're starting a new journey. You're starting a new journey probably with a water sign. And, it, and you're, you're going to be very comfortable with this water sign. All right? I think there's going to gonna be fun. It's going to be adventurous, um, creative. But maybe you have to, I mean, there's something you aren't considering. There's something that you don't know about yet. It's a new, it's a new opportunity that you are not aware of. Maybe, maybe you're just focusing on work for the next couple of weeks. You know, it's not so much about love because this is what I see. I see that you're working on your foundation. That's what's going on here. That's why this, you're not focusing on love. That's what this is. You're not focusing on love. I mean, if you, but, I mean, just because you're not focusing on love, 100% doesn't mean that not all of you are. I mean, I'm sure that some of you are. I think there's been some arrogance. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to go back up to the front here. This is the 13th. It's a power and control. Um, you're in that they're in that stage of um, um, from one extreme to the other. You are. There's no doubt about it. It's, it's up and down, up and down, okay? And things are just happening so quick that you can't, it's hard to even react, okay? Because, and so you're, I think that you're acting impulsively. You're making impulsive um, irrational decisions in order to keep the power in control of a situation okay you're just you're being impulsive all right and things are happening too fast and the universe is gonna put a halt to that the universe is saying okay all right you're moving you're not thinking you're not thinking you know we, we see what's going on you're not thinking clearly so they're going to give you some kind of wake up call that is going to it might scare you a little bit. All right, you're going to get this wake up call. It might, you know, shake up your employment a little bit. I mean, you've worked hard for something and you know, now there's going to be conflicts because of this upheaval. Something that you have worked hard for is 
you know, might um, be affected by this. Okay, but don't you worry because it's destiny. It is destiny and you are going to start a new journey. Some maybe with the water sign or maybe following a new spiritual path. You know, maybe you're really going to follow your um, heart. Okay, I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. Um, you're going to be moving away from conflict, which is fantastic. All right. It's something that you have been waiting for for a while. You know, the seeds have been planted and the universe is finally going to um, light the match. Okay, they're going to light the match to make something happen. This is, okay, the match gets lit. I'd say if it hasn't happened already, it's going to get lit within the next week. That's my guess. You know, but things, it could have happened already because things are happening that fast for you. It's like you, it's from one extreme to the other. All of a sudden things are calm and then boom, they're not calm anymore. And then all of a sudden they're calm again and then boom, they're not calm anymore. And that's what's going on with you. All right. Um, you have embarked on a new journey or you are going to because this is this is out you know it could be even be a more spiritual journey it could be a journey of it's just a big change okay a big 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 i cannot emphasize big enough as you can see change okay it is something big is going to happen um where your life is gonna change it's just the way it is okay and, and it's something that has been in the works you know this has just been slowly creeping and slowly coming and it's finally gonna come all right but it's a new opportunity for security and abundance so don't you worry don't there's nothing to worry about because the universe has a new opportunity a new foundation for you to build Okay, perhaps with this water sign or somebody who acts like this person. Um, this person is very loving, intuitive, um, beautiful, um, gentle, kind, calm. I mean, she's very feminine, um, could be light haired. This is a male or female, and males, they do have feminine sides, so this is a male or a female. Um, water sign that can offer a very comfortable home life okay and you where you, this new foundation is either with this person or this person this is a fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay and so this person is creative confident um, adventurous fun fiery you know um, I don't think, but this person is at the end of the month. I think that they, I mean, they're looking at your, they're looking at your unacceptance of love. So I wonder, we'll get back to this one. Um, let's get some clarifiers. It's perhaps you need to work as a um, as a team. You know what I mean. Perhaps you have to um, come up with a plan together with somebody. It seems to me like you know this guy usually pulls people together to get something done. You know he that's what he does. Um, what the hell is this? moving away is somebody moving away do you have to leave somebody behind 
I mean, do you, does some, this is at the end of the month, mind you, that maybe somebody has to go away. Um, or you have to leave somebody behind. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. This is about putting yourself in the driver's seat, taking back control of your life, you know, um, moving forward. This is about movement, moving period, moving, okay? At the end of the month, you could be moving, and that, but that's where you're going to start your new foundation in your new life somewhere. You might build a new home someplace else. Could be with a fire sign, could be closer to a parent, I don't know where that is coming from. Um, what the hell is this? A move in the right direction, either way. It's a move in the right direction. There's something that you're not aware of. But you don't have nothing to worry about because it's a very victorious move. Okay, it is. And it, you have a major life change ahead of you. And it's in the works right up, right through. Right through. I mean, there's so much um, spiritual guidance here. You know, destiny. It's go There's destiny. You're, you, you are going to have a life change. If not in July, in the very new, near future. This is July... Uh, 13th through the 31st the big shock for a lot of you it's already happened I know it has but for some of you that it hasn't it's gonna come in based on your impulsive decisions okay based on you perhaps you know one extreme to the other going up and down you know overindulgence some you know that can only last for so long before something happens okay so something's gonna happen the seeds have been planted something's gonna happen it might fuck up your love life I don't know just saying um but don't worry about it if it does because you have a new foundation here okay a new you have the ability to build a new foundation you have the ability to build a new start someplace else okay you have the ability this is a gift okay um, perhaps you're going to be offered a position i see a lot of work in these cards i do um, so there's a, I mean, this is supposed to be a love reading. So I, I really feel like this, this period of the month, you're going to be focusing a lot on your career and move, either moving up in the job or moving to another, uh, moving out of town for a job or moving period. I don't know. I, what's going on with this? Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. I was looking for this card earlier. There, yeah, there's stuff consp conspiring behind the scenes. I did say this a little, just a little bit back. Definitely, there's stuff going on behind the scenes for you. That is, um, your life is changing. Your life is in a, a period of change, guaranteed. 100%. If it's not right now, you give it a month, okay? This is supposed to be for the 13th through the um, 31st of July. Something's going on that you're not aware of. I believe I've said that before. There is. There's something going on that you are not aware of. It could have something to do with your security, you know, your job security or your home is security you know what I mean there's something conspiring behind the scenes we're looking for love what do we got for love can you give me something for love good love good 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 I think that you guys have had some good loving maybe a little too much maybe not What about for the single ones? What's going on with that, I wonder? Balance, overindulgence. Well, holy shit. The need for balance and moderation. Compare, compare, there we go. 
cooperation and compromise. Wait for the perfect time and this is this is what I was this is overindulgence. It is. This is it. Came up in the last reading too. Yeah. Too much. <laughs> Something's gonna come because of that. Just be careful. You're planning on going out partying. You better just uh I don't know what you're gonna do. Be careful. That's what I have to say about that. You don't want to be getting a DWI or anything. Something could fuck up your work. Sorry for all the swearing, but they could. Be careful. Seriously. It could mess up. You could see it as a mess up. You could, but it would be a blessing in disguise. Okay, so... It all depends on what you want. You know, if you want to go take a risk, then in that the universe drive, then you know that's what you're meant to do. Don't second guess it. Be yourself. What's meant to happen will happen. This is just a little glimpse. Be yourself, okay? Don't don't go by this reading. Go out and do whatever you want to do. You know, because that's your, whatever is meant to be, to, it will be. And you can alter it. Your free will plays a part. This can be altered. Unity. This is the Hierophant. Traditional viewpoints or methods. Spiritual organization. Seek out mentors and like-minded friends. This one, <laughs> it just reiterates what I said. Be true to yourself. Be yourself. I actually, I have this written in my book under this card. Okay, I wrote, I wrote everything down a long time ago. Be yourself. I just got done telling you that. Thank you, thank you, universe. There's so much divine guidance here. This is 100% destiny. Karmic. Very karmic. Your life is in store. You have a big change in store for your life. If not in July, in August. <laughs> or it could be already happening. It is in the works behind the scenes. I know, oh, jeez, I'm... They just love me tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at all these. Every single one of them is a major arcana. I just got done saying that it is uh, destiny. If you look that up, you look up about, we don't have to. I'm telling you right now that this is destiny. It's karmic. You, you are, this is a life lesson period for you. You will never forget this time in your life. Okay, whoever is watching this, because it's something that has is going to make you, it's going to build your character in some way, and it's time to go on to a new chapter. It, you're, that's what's happening. Okay, your character is being built right now in a very big way. And, and you're about to start a new phase. You have the world twice. The universe has t is teaching you a lesson behind the scenes that is you are meant to learn. Okay? So whatever that... Think about it. What is this lesson? What is this lesson? I think it might have something to do with overindulgence and regrets and having an awakening that, you know, is this what you want for the rest of your life? Where do you want it? I mean, come on now. That's what it is. That is what the lesson is. I think you're going to take a new path because it's about now, it's about building a foundation, a strong one, and a happy, happy home. I don't know. That's a guess. But I do see that you are about, it's an, it's, a new beginning with for you and it's not just a small new beginning it's a new beginning because you learned something big big something that you will never forget 
a big major life lesson that you will take with you for the rest of your life. So that is for July uh, 13th through the 31st, 2017. Fourth reading for Capricorn. I think it's the fourth. It could be the third, third or fourth. Anyway, um, I had such a hard time. Such a hard time with this. Um, because it was like a power struggle. You know what I mean? And that, so I, I don't know why. I don't know why. So, um, it was almost like I was fighting with you guys. But I wasn't. It was weird. It really was. But anyway, I think the message was loud and clear. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching me and putting up with me and my moods and all that. You know, I have moods. I have a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn moon. I'm a Taurus sun and a Virgo uh, rising and they they're all earth I'm all earth pretty much I mean the other ones I have a few of the other ones but those main ones I'm all earth but anyway I have a lot of Capricorn in me um, so this looks really good I like it a lot um, yeah so thank you very much for watching me and putting up with me and commenting and liking and um, all that jazz <laughs>